Time Plays Games here coming to you back with another episode of Fallout 4. So, in our last episode we built the garage. No mods. Built this thing straight from scratch. So, I thought to keep with the theme of no mod building, I keep saying, Oh, you can build the greenhouse with no mods, it's possible. So, you know what, I am going to give you the greenhouse. No mods. Now I did have to go acquire some more glass. Let's just say... Yeah, there's a lot of crap in here. And I went right past the glass. There we go. Let's just say I went and... Uh, <laughs> I went and took some glass from four by force. We're just going to scrap this crap because we don't need it. Why is that floating? There we go. We'll take both of those things with us because we're going to need them. Out of my way, Valentine. Stick them here for now. All right. So the first thing we got to do is we got to go to our glass wall section of the wall tab in the warehouse building. We're gonna start our first wall off with broken glass. And now the best way to do this is to actually start on the road like that. Oh my God. No. You get the fuck out of here, trash can Carla. I swear to God. It better not be her. No, he's still going. He's going to the market. And then you do your two greenhouse walls there. And then you do your wall here. And there you go. Wait. As you can see, we are on a slight angle. So we can fix that. But you definitely want to start your build on the road. Because then you'll be able to build into the ground essentially i don't know how well it will work on console but it probably will work and again we don't have to use broken walls or full glass walls you can use broken ones but i thought if i'm claiming you can build this thing without mods why not finally show you how to do it And we do that, we do that. We do have to build our other wall here. Again, you do have to actually do this with mods. And then you just do that. And yeah, I know it's floating, so the best way to fix the floating issue is to go to your post section. And just kind of free place a post right there. So it looks like it's being supported. <laughs> it don't look pretty, but it works. It works. So, yeah. And the next thing we need to add is... Our outside wall here so we can build our roof pieces now just to be safe we're gonna put the glass pieces in the top there so we don't have any issues and I'm gonna put the glass broken glass one because I think that's the best looking one there we go. 
And I know it's foggy in the game, so that doesn't really help anything, but, you know, I can't control all the weather that goes on in Fallout. And yeah, you should be able to snap this onto there. It's really tricky. I can't remember how I used to do it last time. But another thing you can do is you can just do these wall pieces. Or these roof pieces. Because essentially, those roof pieces only snap to these walls. Now the only way I could see getting it to snap that high up is we'll have to do some finagling here with this because all the blocks are still the same then we should be able to snap our wall Just slightly underneath that, so we've got to bring this down just a couple more inches. And we remove that. Place that. And then we should be able to place like that. That just doesn't seem right. raise that platform just a bit. Now this takes a bit of uh, adjustment because you are kind of replacing this. But essentially we want it to snap almost at the peak of that. So we just got to keep going. Until it's just right. Just a tad bit taller. And it takes a lot of back and forth before you get this right. Tiny bit more, we just need to move it like a hair more. Like that. I think we got it. In line, that looks in line. Perfect. Got her. And then we'll snap another one. <laughs> But that's super freaking high. I just realized that. So we gotta bring this down. To where it's. It's almost the same height. And you can see we're kind of getting some glitching going on here. Take that out of here. Add that back. And then it's like slightly taller than that roof. Really?
You know, it's not going to be perfect, but we're doing it without mods. I want to prove to you guys that it can be built without mods. Where the heck is this thing going that it's disappearing so suddenly? I do kind of want it to be more straight. And it just takes a little bit of finagling like that. And then like that. And there you go. And we'll store that away. Then we'll go back to the walls. And we get to place one of these. Right underneath this. Like so. But if you want it to work better in your favor, you can kind of free place it. I'd like to know where the bird sounds are coming from. Thought all of them would have went instinct when the bombs fell. Just kind of get it. Just like that. You can kind of snap one in. But again, you gotta free place it, the first one. Just so you can get your snapped one in like that. And now it's partially buried in the ground. Yes, we got a gap there. I am aware of that. But that's about as perfect as you're going to get it without mods. But that's essentially how you build this section without mods. And then again, if you want to post here, you can add on. I don't use the metal posts. I like using the barn posts. I think they're better looking in my opinion. It's just a matter of getting it to set. Like, I mean, from a distance, it does look like it's just floating. Another thing you can do is you can... really wish you could snap stuff to those posts but uh, that's what you get when you don't build with mods so maybe we just won't do a wall there or if we do a wall we could do like a barn wall or we could do half a barn wall because we do have these destroyed halves which essentially would give us kind of the same thing and still give it support but there you go. How to do that without pulling your hair out is beyond me, but <laughs> I've played Bethesda games long enough to know that there's hair pulling moments, especially with no mods. And we do have access to these panels, which is great. But before we do that, we need to build that. We actually can't even place those yet. So, riddle me this, Bethesda. Why is it so easy to snap all the warehouse pieces, but it's a pain in the ass to snap the base game pieces? 
fucking Bethesda, man. But Todd Howard don't give a shit. So there's no point in complaining. But that's how you do that. You have to have floor pieces placed here. And you have to have... These pieces placed are ready to go. And then essentially... You got yourself a greenhouse. No mods. 100%. No mods. Now is it a pain in the butt to build? Yes. Can it be done? Well, as you can see, yes it can. But we are going to eliminate this guard tower because we don't really need it. So we'll delete this. She's looking at me like that for Preston. <laughs> it's just making him uncomfortable. Right, so we're going to install the Creation Club walls just because that's what I already got going on here. And no, they're not in their own category. So you gotta kind of just... Do it like that. But it goes to show that things are possible without the use of mods. Mods are more of a luxury at this point than anything. Okay, so here's another thing I don't understand. Certain railing pieces don't snap on the end there. While these ones with the plywood snap onto absolutely anything and everything in this game. And I'll never understand that. I guess there's just going to be some things that will go left unchecked. And again, to change up texture, we just put different railings and floor pieces here just to make it junky up here. But we don't need two guard towers. We have the one. That's good enough. But yeah, that's how you build the greenhouse. Now we got to build the fencing. Hopefully we have enough fertilizer because I realize we're going to need fertilizer to do the garden plots. And we got a ton of fertilizer. That's great. And yes, it will be floating. I'd rather have it floating than sit there trying to figure it out. Actually, you know what we can do? Because I got literally a crap ton of mute fruit. <laughs> Wait. So what you're telling me is the mute food just stays there. That's weird. That is really weird. We're going to take a bunch of this fencing because I'm going to need it. But we could play they just dismantled the garden essentially. But yeah, I thought before I turn mods on I would want to show you how to do this without mods. But I might, I might actually do some more no mod builds. Essentially, we're going to place there, and there, and right there. So then we're not constantly using up materials that we don't have.
One thing I will say about PC though, even no mods, PC is more forgiving when building. There we go. Got our little meat fruit farm. So now the next thing will be to place the two plots here. Again, they're going to float because you know everything floats and follows. But I know people's feelings on floating stuff will fall out. But I'm not going to care because if I care too much, it won't be fun to me. So we kind of just got to Got to roll with it. Rollability here. And we're going to go back to the fence tab. Wire fence. And we're going to go just to the plain wire. And we're going to add one of these because apparently picket fences snap to it. And because Sanctuary Hills Wall has a ton of picket fences, it just wouldn't be right to not add the offenses to Sanctuary Hills is fun. We need to kind of add like a busted fence. There we go, and the picket fence kind of adds like a nice touch to it. You know, I could add the regular wire fencing, but why not change it up with some picket fencing? How we can even remove this last chunk and install like a couple of these. Kind of just overlap it. Now we can pull this back a little so it's not so cramped. But essentially, now we got ourselves a little camp or garden area for our settlers so they can do. What they like doing, which is essentially gardening. Take these. I'm just going to steal all the plants here. While you guys are still in the middle of working on them. Just because I'm deleting the plants doesn't mean you guys can just give up on it. It's like all oh, the soul survivors removing the plants. What do we do? What do we do? And I'll just go to where I'm placing the plants for you to do more work with them. There we go. Now we got a ton of corn.
Now here's the frustrating thing with vegetables in this game is just putting them on these plots because for some reason with these plots and no mods it's really hard to place them in the middle here and another thing you can do is you can just place them kind of like here And we may just place them kind of just randomly. Even though really corn should be in a row, but we'll just do it like that just because it's a pain. Because I don't think you can rug glitch corn. But we're about to find out. I have never had to rug glitch corn, but I want to see if you can. Just got to go to our rug selection. Get our old fashioned our best friend here. And we're gonna see. Oh, you can plant corn on concrete. Look at that. Oh, you can rug glitch it. You bugger. Awesome. That's awesome. essentially just wood glitch all the corn into place. Well, that's what we're gonna do. You cannot rug glitch vegetables. I didn't think you could do that. I usually used to just get pissed off because I couldn't place two or too many things in one plot or I'd be screwed. Oh it looks like this last one's being in my ass. Uh, Might have not just picked up nicely. But I just wanted to show in today's video that you can build the greenhouse without mods and that it was possible I'll just rug glitch our next piece of corn like so oh, nope, don't want to do that <laughs>
That's weird. There seems to be like spawning of another object. But it's actually those objects. So it's like rug glitching them is messing the game up. Because yeah, I see as we're Okay, let's let's try something here. Yeah, there it is. You see that? That is some weird things going on with the game. It's like the game essentially doesn't want you to rug glitch it. So you get this weird glitched out version. There. I might have to see if that bugs on the Xbox too. Because that is terrible. Because I know the Place Anywhere mod for Xbox doesn't allow you to place vegetables in any weird configuration. And I bet you that is why. So we'll just do it like that. Hmm. That's really weird. Next thing we're gonna build is the little vent, the little house where we can stow all, stow all our implements that we're using. And again, I want to use this. Since we don't have mods, you could use something like this. So say you're not using mods, you could build with something like that. But I don't want to do that. could build with like a half wall there. Or we can build like a half wall over here. Now PC you can do a lot of free placing and get away with it. As where well, Xbox you can't it's a little trickier. And then we can go and free place our posts. So it looks like it's being supported. And it's not just floating. this one. Again, you'll probably have to remove this. Okay. 
and then you can kind of place these somewhat back to where they were. Again, white glitching will be required. But I find if you put things too tightly together, it looks too perfect. This is kind of a derelict structure we're building. can add like our little table so you can watch the soul survivor while he's inside his house put our little metal table here and take the rest of our fruit and plants What are you doing, Ada? Sheffield, where are you going? can go back to what yeah see Marcy knows where it goes there you can do you can do some farm work there Marcy I'm not paying you to live in nothing to not do any farm work now we just do our potato plants Go steal some tato plants from uh, Abernathy. Oh, we have a bunch of potatoes, so we should actually be fine. Excuse me, ma'am. You should be working, not sitting. Got it. Yes, get off your ass and get to work. Not paying you settlers nothing to do nothing. Useless bastards. You too, Valentine. You can get to work too. You're a synth. You can work through the night. I want this garden fully low and going. I don't want it just sitting here. Again, I'm not paying you settlers to do nothing to do nothing. I'm gonna go to sleep. I get up. Those crops better be damn well tended to. I swear to God. So I guess we did find a new bug. If you're using placed anywhere, you create like a phantom. A phantom vegetable, we'll call it. But if you're not using place anywhere or you're not rug glitching, you won't have that issue. Because see right here we should have... Oh, I guess we're good. Okay. I've never lost anyone before. This failure is new to me. Alright, Ada. Get back to farming. You too. You're just walking around doing jack shit.
You too, Piper. The hell are you going, June? I didn't assign you to not do shit. Get the farming, boy. Man, that, this is why Powell should exist in Fallout. Who would need settlers when you could just have Powells? You know, you get some Kativas and some Sparkettes and some low-level Powells to get in here and start farming. This shit would be done a lot quicker. You hear that? There's another video game that exists. And they're more, these creatures are more useful than you people. <laughs> Am I a little harsh on my settlers? I don't think I'm harsh enough. Hey Sturges, like look at Sturges, Sturges is walking around, pounding on the same house, he's doing something, the rest of you guys, you're not doing anything, you're just lounging around, like a bunch of idiots. Place our car here. Really, Piper, you gotta walk right in the way of the car. You know, the, even Mama Murphy does more than most you guys. Is that sad? I can't grant it, she's walking and into the car there that's kind of not helping the situation but I don't know you guys should take notes Mama Murphy would literally and I mean quite literally fight a death claw with their bare fists I think somebody checked Mama Murphy's strength in the game, and I think her strength was like super high. building our garden here. Now here I kind of want to actually build the picket fencing just because it makes more sense. That's terrible. <laughs> this goes to show how straight that fence is. But I guess we could do it like this too. Kind of get it as close as the. I don't care that that's on an ankle. That doesn't really bug me much. It's when you look at this and it's on such a steep angle is when I'll get annoyed. Okay. 
There we go. Because Sanctuary Hills has a lot of picket fencing when you scrap it. So I thought it would only be... It would be an injustice if we didn't do a ton of picket fencing. Again, we're going to do some more picket fencing. But we're actually going to do the bare metal. I found the trick to fixing that. This is an old trick I used to do when I would be setting up the picket fencing. As you do that, get it as close to it as possible, and then place that and kind of see. You can kind of get it to uh, rest, per se on there like so and it's really hard to notice especially from a distance but there we go we built the garden we built the uh, trailer Sheffield time for you to get back to work buddy I like how you can hear them all just working their butts off that's good, that's what they should be doing. We'll add a water pump for them at least. Yeah, I guess we'll just put it here for now. Or right here for now. That makes sense so they have room to get the water out. And then we can add some more food over here. Like some carrots. Nothing like turning your old neighborhood into a, into a massive thriving farming. You know, and another thing you can do is you can add some more of these plots, like remove the carrots, just to get more dirt or ground for farming. But I actually might not add the plots, I just kind of keep that clear. If you're wondering why I'm building my fallout farm in the front, if you ever watched the fallout show, that's where all the farms were for the settlements. And I, I kind of just took inspiration from that. Why is our happiness going down? We moved our farm. It's doing a lot better. There shouldn't be a decline in happiness. Functioning farm. 
You know, and you can go to the junk section. You can go to like vending machines. It's the only thing I do hate about not having mods is sifting through everything. You can build a fire barrel here. Then we could place like an ice cooler in here. You could say the settlers are storing stuff in the ice cooler. Kind of like a little mini shed. Go to like our tables. Put like a small table here. Kind of like a planting table. Man, this is bringing back so many memories of building Fallout 4. Can I stick the fire barrel out like that? Put uh, concrete. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you another trick you can use. You can actually snap these to it. climb up here and I think you can build the roof oh, I don't know if you can or not yes you can I completely forgot that you can do that it feels more like a trailer Because I like building trailers in this game using these old rickety parts. Yeah, because you can snap this to it too, that's right. But for some reason, you can't snap regular stuff to it. I don't know why. But you can snap like a wall piece to it like that. To give it like that trailer like feel. You can do that. can do something like this I think you can add those these pieces to it yes you can if you wanted to do it that way and this is no mods this is just strictly what they have in game
Oh yeah, that's right, you can't snap half walls to this. I would have to go like that. Then essentially just place a wall here at random. Just for it to work. Or another way to make this work better is by doing a flat roof. Kind of like that. Or even just doing one of these style roofs. But then you got those giant gaps, which would bug me. And then to cover that up. Could do something like that. No, 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 this could work. This could work. You like that. Then you go back to your roof tab on your junk walls, junk section. Just do a flat roof. And then it's like it's got its own roof. Does it look pretty? No. Does it? Was it meant to look pretty? Hell no. could keep like this back section clear this is something I just figured out now if you're wondering what's going on here now we could keep kind of like this back section clear and we could even put this workbench back here Like so. Then we need to build like our little deck all lead up to it. Go to our wood tab. some busted looking and yeah it's got gaps and stuff in it but it's not meant to look pretty it's meant to kind of like just junky and worn down you know and if we're worried about making the roof look like it's getting supported then you can go to the post section. Mm. 
can stick a post in there if you want. Or we could like... Rug glitch it. You know, possibilities are endless in this game, man. When you don't have mods, mods, no mods, the possibilities are still endless, no matter what. That's one thing I learned about Fallout 4. Yeah, you see, we just kind of... It's kind of just like hanging on to the wall. You know, very junky built, a very junky looking place. But it works, because then it works as an insert for that. Which then now we can add like some shelving and stuff in here. Kinda not, I guess not. <laughs> but we could add shelving like out here. You know, and it doesn't have to be the fancy shelving, it could be this dented warehouse shelving. But there we go. That my friends. as a wrap for this video let me know what you thought down below but what do you think of this no mods build video you think it's pretty cool i think it's pretty cool i i don't know this stuff just kind of started coming to me left right and center of how to build this and that's something i haven't had in a very long time with no mod builds i just want to kind of get somewhere for a good screenshot or a good thumbnail but never fear sir I will ensure your safety to the best of my ability. Yeah, we'll just do it from here. So let me know uh, what you think down below of uh, this build. And uh, things you think could be improved on. Things you like about it. Things you may have disliked about it. Other than that, I really appreciate you watching this video. I really appreciate everybody liking and subscribing and doing all that other fun stuff. I really do appreciate all of that. So... With that being said, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.